All right, so if you've been subscribed here for a little while, chances are you've seen me wear these pants, this Sherpa, this flannel, this vest, and this parka. The one common theme between all of these items is that they are from The Gap. The Gap is my favorite place to shop for affordable basics and essentials and everything else. It really is one of those staple brands for me. And today I'm excited to share with you guys the best items that you can get from them, even more. I don't wanna give it all the way at the moment. There are some gems that you can get for incredible prices right now. Everything that I'm gonna show you is gonna be linked down in the description. Black Friday sale going on. This couldn't have been better timing. We've got streetwear, we've got menswear, and everything in between. So let's get into it. So what I'm gonna do is break this up into outfits. I'm gonna style them so you can see how it looks on body with some good footwear. So I've got four different styles of pants that you're gonna see in here. These olive green khakis that I'm wearing right now, some camo cargos, some very on-trend double knee workwear pants, and then more khakis. This is a very traditional khaki color in a straight fit. These are by far my favorite pants. Let's get into this gem right here an arctic fleece in lilac purple. This thing is one of my favorite pickups in the entire video. This fleece is so cozy. The type of material that you wanna wear all day, it gives you that 90s feel with that kangaroo pouch in the front, and then the fit is just money. Definitely one of my favorite pickups, and then I've got the double knee workwear pants on with them. Now these have that relaxed fit. They are probably one of the more relaxed pairs of pants that I have in my closet at the moment, and I absolutely love them. Next up, we have a beautiful anorak jacket, and this is from the Sean Witherspoon and Gap reissue collaboration. So this is based off of an original Gap piece, and the quality is exceptional. This jacket deserves an entire video on its own, but I didn't want to do a Gap video and not include it. It's 100% cotton, and it definitely demands some attention when you're wearing it. Next up, one of my favorite basics that I've picked up in a long time. This is the mock neck heavyweight crew neck sweatshirt. I gotta tell you guys, the quality on this sweatshirt is top notch. I was honestly taken back when I checked it out for the first time. If any of you go ahead and grab this, follow up with me. Let me know if you had the same feeling when you get it in. It is incredibly soft, but as you can see, the standout feature is that mock neck collar. Now, I don't really have anything like this. You're gonna see it styled with a lot of the outerwear that I'm about to show you, and it'll kind of speak for itself. Getting into some appropriate fall outerwear, this guy is money for the price. We've got a wool zip up jacket and the color of this thing just screams fall. This is that item and that color that you see some people wearing and you're like, okay, where did you get that? It kind of gives off a varsity jacket feel, but that pointed collar makes it a lot more elevated than that. Two front pockets, hidden snap, and then it is lined on the inside. So you get a wool blend that is pretty soft on here, and then that lining on the inside will definitely keep you warm. But if that's a little bit too formal for you, I've got something a little bit more casual and athletic with this varsity jacket, that traditional white stripe that you see on the sleeves, the bottom of the jacket, and around the collar definitely stands out. You could layer a hoodie with this thing, but I like to show off that collar. Some camo pants really look nice with this jacket right here. And just to give you guys an idea price-wise, these are both well under $100. This guy was 67 bucks last time I looked. Okay, let's get into another gem from the Sean Witherspoon and Gap collaboration. Again, this this guy deserves its own video, but it is another Arctic fleece zip up. It's reversible. It's a quarter zip and it's also a quarter button. So you got two different options. You will be seeing me style this a lot, but we have so much more to get into. So let's keep it rolling. Okay, you guys have probably been looking at this. As you know, it is puffer jacket season. This is in a nice olive green color that is certainly fall and winter appropriate. And it has this sheen to it. So it's got like almost 
almost a little bit of a glossy look. Definitely a streetwear feel with this one. I threw it on over that crew neck sweatshirt and I was nice and toasty. Draw cord at the bottom to tighten things up and then obviously a padded hood. And that actually matters a lot. When you have a puffer jacket, I'm kind of between one with a hood and one without, but I tend to go with some with a hood because if it's windy and it's cold, I don't try to fake the funk. Like I do want a hood. I do want something that is gonna keep me warm. I just checked this out and it was 70 bucks. Keep in mind, this stuff is good for Christmas gifts. As you're shopping out there, take note of the price at how low it is at the time and get ahead of it. Do your shopping a little bit early, but seriously, I'm still not over how nice this fleece is. <laughs> okay, as you're well aware, it is flannel season and the Gap makes some of my favorite flannels because they're not just the basic colors. Flannels have been in style for long enough that you know you gotta look past just the basic ones. So let's start with this olive green one that I'm wearing. Last time I looked, this was $28. 28 bucks for this flannel is the best deal that you're gonna see in this video. It's 100% organic cotton, it's very soft, the fit is nice and relaxed. I should have mentioned this at the beginning of the video, sorry. I'm 6'2", 185, 190, and everything here is in a size large. My pants are 3430 and 3432. I kinda go back and forth between those depending on the look that I want, but just for sizing purposes, there you go. If you have any sizing questions, leave it down in the comment section and I'll get back to you guys. But this flannel that I'm wearing is a nice olive green, burgundy, navy, and white mix. So you got four different colors in here, and then this red flannel has five in it, maybe even more, red, white, navy, yellow, blue. And I think that there's, yeah, there's a little bit of green in there as well. This is an excellent Christmas flannel. And for 28 bucks, man, I think I'm gonna go and get like five of them. And just for reference, this is a flannel that I've had from them for probably about five years now. It's been washed plenty of times. You gotta do it cold and then hang dry, but it holds up. And of course, I have to have a sweater in the mix, a nice festive seasonal pattern on here, and it is warm and cozy. That is one thing that is really important to me. I don't like to wear sweaters that are itchy or uncomfortable. Like, why would I wanna do that to myself? This is neither of those. A lot of people opt for basic one color sweaters. I highly suggest getting a nice pattern in the mix. This is that perfect item that'll make you stand out a little bit more at like that holiday Christmas party. Okay, if you have not tried out a top coat yet, if you've just been waiting and you're like, I don't know if I'm gonna wear something like that, or you like the look, and some of the ones you've looked at have been hundreds of dollars, this is it, this is the time. For one, I just gotta point out this little detail. The collar is not that big. And a lot of times when you buy a top coat, it's very pointy up here. And if you wanna pop the collar, sometimes it's just a little bit much. This is a short collar. So it really gives off a different type of look than most top coats do. I was gonna wear a hoodie underneath this because that's a lot of times how I style them, but on its own, it's perfect. So again, everything is linked for you down in the description. If you have any questions about any of this stuff, hit the comment section and before you get out of here, definitely hit that like and of course subscribe if you're new around here. A lot of work goes into these videos. That is a wrap for me though. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.